What's up, I'm Kyle, and this is the Vervet Forest Orphan Rescue Season 2 Recap Episode. On today's episode, I'm going to be going through all of the highlights of this past baby season and telling you about all the babies that we rescued. First up, Tommy was brought in by a couple who had found him all alone on Mokopani Golf Course. Right after Tommy, Tony the Bush Baby was brought in. Careful. Tommy screamed his way through his first day in Disneyland. There's a James troop over there. That's the troop that Eliza went into. They're all clearly very interested, which is what happens. But after he calmed down, he also had some fun. <laughs> Tony slept through the day with one eye open in a soy milk induced mini coma. Dave smuggled Macy on the Translux from the same Mokopani golf course where Tommy was found, and that was real strange because she was also said to have been found all alone on the green. But I guess that's just par for the course. It wasn't long before Tommy was drinking from the bottle inside the feeding cage. Macy moved to Disneyland and Tommy did his best to get her to play with him. Together, the two of them watched James Troop. Then Macy got weighed in a bucket. Do you like it in there? I'd say yes. Lustique was the next orphan to arrive. Hi there, little guy. Yes. He's so confused. He's like, I want you to cuddle me, but also you're a human and I'm terrified. Hi, buddy. Hey. Mm -hmm. I agree. And of course, there was Tommy and Macy. Then Paco rocked up with a family who had found him on the side of the road. He was super dehydrated and ridiculously cute. Not too long after, Dixie and Foxy arrived. Dixie was only a couple of days old and had been found at Moholoholo Wildlife Reserve, while Foxy's mom had been killed by dogs. The two of them joined Paco in the baby cabin. He's looking for broken ribs. Yeah. Then Paloma was handed over to us by a farmer who had said his dog had brought him the injured baby monkey. She was in very bad shape. Tommy and Lustique made the big move to a Coco Troop intro enclosure, and everyone was very excited to meet them through the fence. Tommy is a blanket baby. Lustique's in there, true. Paloma was in the baby cabin, and she was looking a whole lot better. Mm. <laughs> then Baba Cool arrived, and she was completely unimpressed by our rescue operation. And of course, Tony was growing up quite fast. Tommy and Lustique were joined by foster moms Panicure and Luca in the intro enclosure. Despite a rocky start, the adoption ended quite well. These guys will get baby plates, um, so they're made at main feet, but they cut like a sick bay size. Yeah, but like little squares. Talk about it. Paloma, Dixie, Foxy, Baba Cool, and Paco all joined Macy in Disneyland. <laughs> what, Macy? Oh my God, you two. <laughs> I feel like Mrs. Gold. <laughs> no, you just took oh. it over. <laughs> a few days later, Foxy, Maisie, and Baba Cool moved over to a Goliath Troop intro enclosure. 
On a very sweaty day, another orphan named Elena arrived at the Vervet Monkey Foundation. Better? Yeah. Whoa. Meanwhile, over in Disneyland, Paloma stressed out about branches, climbing, heights, and life in general. Tina, a severely injured orphan, arrived into our care. Her story was that she had fallen from a tree in a very busy part of town, but it didn't make much sense. Hey, Bubby. Tony was getting way bigger. Paloma was moved to the baby cabin because she got thrush, and Mrs. Gold decided to adopt Macy and Foxy. And then little Lydia arrived. She had been kept as a pet inside of a glass fish tank. The next orphan to arrive was Vera. She was just a couple of days old. The day after Vera came Diane. Paloma and Elena moved to Coco Troop, but were not too interested in the moms. Oh, here goes. Hmm? Tina had unfortunately taken a turn for the worse. Okay, so her temperature's low at the moment, and it is without the external heat, basically. And Dixie got thrush and moved to quarantine in the baby cabin where she joined Baba Cool. Mrs. Gold, Foxy, and Macy were doing great together. Elena and Paloma were joined by foster mom Kara, but they didn't really seem to Kara about her. Dixie and Darcy were adopted by Elsie and Chippy in a Robert Troop yeah. intro enclosure. That's pretty sweet. Get some grass, I'll give you some grass. Paco, Baba Cool, and Diane all moved over to Scro Troop, where they were joined by Bernadette and Polar. Dave and I then fetched Abby from a family who had found her on their farm. Horst was the next baby to show up, and he joined Abby in the baby cabin. Tommy and Lustique were the first babies of the season to join a troop with their foster moms. And Tony the Bush Baby was just a few weeks from being released out into the wild. Get that one before it crawls away. Abby moved to the sickbay troop intro enclosure, where she met Dolly, and they quickly fell in love. Mrs. Gold rejoined Goliath troop with her new babies, Macy and Foxy. Then back to back, Edgar, Nala and Freya, and Leo all arrived. A few days later, everyone moved to Disneyland and chaos ensued. The next orphan to arrive was Kendall, and she had zero trust in humans. Horst and Vera moved over to Sov Troop to meet the moms through the fence, and while Horst was curious, Vera just wasn't having it. Abby and Dolly joined sickbay troop together. We then got three more orphans. Red with the busted arm, malnourished Gabe, and blind Belle. This poor little blind monkey. Paloma and Elena were the next to join Coco troop. Horst and Vera met Acorn of Sov Troop, and it wasn't the best meeting of the moms we've ever had. She's going to you don't sit on the baby. <laughs> of all the monkeys to sit on the smallest baby. Champion X pet Dougie arrived with his green ball. <laughs> he just saw himself. 
and Leo, Freya, and Gabe all got thrush and were moved to quarantine. I don't want to, like, now that I have him wrapped, I don't want to even go, because it's just... Uh, it looks like little grandma. Cookie arrived, and she, and Belle, and Red were eating it up in the baby cabin. Cookie and Edgar were eventually moved to a D&D &D troop intro enclosure. Oh. Dougie moved to Scrow Troop and got along with everyone through the fence. Nala and Kendall moved to Engelkey and met the moms in the intro enclosure. Cookie and Edgar were joined by foster mom Shanae in the D&D intro enclosure. Dougie found a foster mom in Buffy. Vera was moved to a Goliath troop intro enclosure where she continued to struggle to bond with a mom. A new orphan with a broken arm named Django arrived, and Cookie and Edgar were injured in a fight with the bandits. Nala and Kendall joined Engelkey Troop with their foster moms. In Disneyland, the babies were feasting. And Leo and Freya got to meet Engelkey Troop through the fence. Cookie and Edgar rejoined Shanae in a D&D Troop intro enclosure. Diane was injured in a fight with the bandits and had to have her leg amputated. which meant she couldn't join Dougie, Paco, and Baba Cool as they went out into Scrow Troop with their foster moms. <laughs> Bye. Leo and Freya were joined by the moms of Engelkey, and they had a ton of fun. Django and Red moved to the sickbay troop intro enclosure. Belle met her foster mom Shasta for the first time through the fence. Horst and Buttercup joined Sov Troop. Vera met the juveniles of Scrow Troop in a Scrow intro enclosure, and it went much better than expected. Cookie and Edgar joined D&D &D Troop, and all the monkeys were very pleased to have them out there. <laughs> Dixie and Darcy went out into Robert Troop. Unfortunately, Dixie was attacked by the troop, and she later succumbed to her injuries. Diane and Bernadette joined Vera in her Scro intro enclosure, and everything was finally going great for Vera. Vera and Diane joined Dougie, Paco, and Baba Cool in the Scrow main troop enclosure. Gabe moved to a James troop intro enclosure and discovered his newfound love of grass. Gabe was joined by the foster moms and was not into the idea. He just noticed her. <laughs> Leo and Freya took themselves out into Engelkey Troop. Red and Django were joined by foster moms and were also not too keen on the situation. Oh, 
So Cody has just put his hand on them. He's now grabbing... Then in the final episode of the season, Gabe joined James Troop with foster mom Juno. Belle was adopted by her foster mom, Shasta. And last but not least, Red and Django headed out with foster mom, Missy, into sickbay troop. And that's it. That's everything that happened on the Vervet Forest Orphan Rescue Season 2. Please remember to like the videos because that helps us get more notice. Uh, also subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. Um, if you want to volunteer or you want to donate or you want to become a patron or buy t-shirts or photos or learn more information about vervet monkeys or anything like that, all those links are in the description below the video. See you guys next time.